A very quick video this time, just showing you what art gear I pack when I travel overseas because I'm heading overseas for two months. Welcome to Sluga Channel, I'm Charles. On this channel, I do all things watercolour related. I try to help you live, love and do watercolour. That's what I normally say, but there's going to be a little bit of a shift. Not that I'm not going to try and help you live, love and do watercolour, but for the next couple of months I will be overseas. The video is going to change a little bit. It's going to become more vlog-like. There'll be a bit of painting, there'll be a bit of eating, there'll be a bit of drinking, there'll be a bit of sightseeing as normal. Who knows what it'll be. So the videos are going to be a little bit random as far as timing goes because I don't know what internet access I'll have. So they won't necessarily be every two weeks. All the more reason for you to subscribe and hit that little bell so you get a notification when I post. I'm going from my little town of Yakandanda up to Sydney, flying from Sydney to Hong Kong. So a few days in Hong Kong. Hong Kong to Rome. And then I'm spending a week in Tuscany running a workshop that I run there. I go across to Croatia for my favorite thing in the year. This is my annual tour that I run in Croatia. If you're interested, check out my website. There's a link below after Croatia. I'm off to Amsterdam for a few days. When you are packing your gear, your painting gear for overseas, logically, you try and keep it to a minimum. You don't want to take everything but the kitchen sink. In fact, you don't even want to take the kitchen sink. You just got to be careful how much you take. You don't want to take too much. You don't want to look like this. So what do I take? I take my gator board, which is a very light board to tape my paper on. I take my 180 gram Ash watercolour paper. I cut that into half sheets. I take my fold out metal palette. This goes with me everywhere and it's travelled all over the world with me. I take four brushes, no more than four brushes. A mop brush down to a rigger and a couple of in between. I do take a retractable pencil, so I don't have to worry about taking a sharpener. It's got a little eraser on the end, so I don't have to take an eraser. And I take a little stapler to stretch my paper if I have to. Obviously I take my paints. I do take tubes of paint because I much prefer tubes to blocks. I take an expandable water container. This is quite useful. It's a little concertina thing like this. Of course I have my easel. Now the easel I don't always take, it depends on what I'm doing, but I do find it useful. It just gives me more scope of where I can paint and the viewpoint. Being aware that the negative to that is you've got to carry it. I take masking tape, don't really need to, but I just like to have that little border around my painting. A rag to dry my brushes, wipe my hands, and even if I get paint on my face, to wipe my face. I also wrap up my palette in that rag so it doesn't leak all over the place. My little pocket watercolour set from Windsor & Newton. There's plenty of brands of these things. You can, you can find them all over the place. I particularly like this one because it has the water container built into it. In this little part of the palette you can hold water, pour it out and everything's in, in one little spot. I do squeeze fresh paint into the little holders though rather than just using blocks. And I take this little aqua brush. Aqua brush is good. This book. Uh, this is a Stillman and Byrne mixed media book, the Zeta series. I like this, it's, it's my kind of go-to when I'm sketching, when I'm traveling. Um, the aqua brush, the little portable um, pocket set palette thing, and my Stillman and Byrne pad. And pretty much I can go anywhere with that. And that's about it. So all this kind of squishes into my suitcase. And when I'm there, um, I take 
a lot of this in a little, little backpack or a little bag. I hope you find that useful. I don't know whether it is useful or not. I just did it more out of interest to let you see what I'm taking with me for the next few months while I'm traveling overseas. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell so to get the notifications, particularly when I'm traveling now for the next couple of months. There won't be a video in two weeks because at that very moment in time, I'll be on that big bird in the sky and I won't have internet access. We'll skip two weeks time and I'll upload videos when I can. This will go on until November, mid-November sometime. So come along to Hong Kong, Tuscany, Croatia and Amsterdam with me. And then we'll come back to Yakandanda. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you from somewhere overseas. Very exciting, can't wait. <laughs>